All right, welcome to the Church Dropout Podcast. My name is Alan, and I'm joined by... Lisa. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Church Dropout is a podcast. We talk about issues, topics, and teachings related to faith, life, and culture in ways that are sometimes funny, sometimes serious, but always insightful. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about... or We're going to do some dropout comments, pretty much. Sounds good. Right? And yeah. we would normally do multiple... Um, videos. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. today we're going to do one video because we had a lot of comments on it. And truthfully, some of the comments were rather long. Right. And we're only going to read a few. We're not going to do a whole lot, but we just chose a few that we saw on there and mm-hmm. we want to just respond a little bit to them and um, maybe explain a bit. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think there was a lot of opinions mm-hmm. and feelings um, dealing with the Trump. Mm hmm thing and i mean you know politics are important yeah or people's political views are important people hold things deeply and uh trump seems to be the type of figure that people um you know have people don't like to get messed with (laughs) yeah exactly he's a (laughs) he's kind of a sacred cow to some individuals I, i i was not i was gonna change that but you're that not wasn't call, meant you're to not be a calling shot. him. Yes, right, right, I understand. Right. You're not calling him a cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that that wasn't a dig. At, yes, at, at Donald, all, at all, President Trump, mm-hmm. or former president, former President Trump. Trump. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, just want to say, you know, you got some merch on. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So we'll have some merch coming out soon. Some different things. You know, on the back of that, it has uh, something about uh, we. Uh, are the church, church. yeah, mm-hmm. and the scripture and stuff like that. But yeah, so it looks good. Thank looks you. Looks good on you. Thank you. All right, so we are going to do some dropout comment comments, shall yeah. we? Yeah, let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. Message. All right, let's go. All right, very disappointed in this Trump bashing podcast disguised as Christian podcast. I don't know how you guys showed up on my video suggestion, but I did give you a chance by watching it, but can easily tell by your sarcasm and your own opinions dated as facts, you are right up there with the fake news. No wonder your show is called Church Dropout. You guys have dropped out all right. (laughs) Why are you reading? Well, I mean, it was just the blessings of Jesus Uh that brought us to your feet. So, you know, you could blame the Holy Spirit uh, for dropping us in your feet. But Uh I mean, you know, hey, I I definitely get it. Uh, I definitely get it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, again, that's just a person's opinion that Mm -hmm. we gave our opinion. You know what I mean? But, you know, I don't know about the whole fake news thing, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Yeah, I, you know, you know, that's that's that sounds like Donald Trump. Those are his words, right? Oh, no, no. Yeah. I think they're being very intentional with with those words. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, but I don't know. I just think. I mean, honestly, I can't tell. Because a lot of people really didn't interact with the content per se. Right. They seemed to be more you know, aimed at the fact that we were talking about Trump. Of course, 100%. Which makes the point. And even in that specific instance, mm-hmm. you know, we're saying we're a Trump bashing podcast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's yeah. a little bit extreme. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, and we'll get to it. But, you know, we're equal opportunity offenders. Yes. You know, um, it's not just related to Donald Trump. I no. think as as many will see as we continue to push forward on the podcast. So mm-hmm. anyway, let's do another one. All right. It says, are you too aware of the spiritual battle going on? Have you ever heard of the New World Order? Do you understand that America is all that stands in the way of a demonic global government and that we are under attack on every front? President Trump realizes that unless we restore our favor with God, our nation is doomed. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so is that one pretty long? No. Okay, so just start from the favor part and go ahead and continue. I'll let you finish. Okay. Uh, President Trump realizes that unless we restore our favor with God, our nation is doomed. He is calling our nation to revival. You do not have to buy the Bible. 
I, I have said for years to save this country, if you cannot afford to homeschool your children, you had better at least teach them the Bible and our founding docu documents. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by the creator with certain unalienable rights. President Trump gets that. Why don't you? Yeah, and they actually gave a little bit of uh, our founding documents there, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> talking about our, our rights. But the part in that that I think is very interesting is the idea that Trump is here to restore our favor mm -hmm. in God's eyes. Right. And I think that, again, goes to the point we were trying to make of we think of America as this divine or this this uh, favored community in God's eyes, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, we have we this special, unique, people. yes, we're yes. chosen people. We have this yes. special, unique relationship with God mm -hmm. and he's calling us to bring peace mm -hmm. to the world. Mm -hmm. And again, that is not the job of America. Right. And how do we know that uh, God is not doing a work with the world mm -hmm. uh well anyway listen let me put it this way it's the job of christians mm -hmm. to to evangelize the world jesus has already brought in peace it's our job to expose people to that peace mm -hmm. and we got to be careful of putting america in the place uh in a divine position in god's eyes yeah. as if uh, the favor that America has or the favor that people believe America has puts us in this unique position where we're here to carry out God's uh, God's um, plan throughout mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. America is not the only place that Christians exist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and I know people wouldn't deny that. But when we speak of it this way, we speak of America being set apart mm -hmm. for a specific purpose. And again, using, you know, real biblical language here. But mm -hmm. when you talk about America having favor, to me, I think you're making a correlation of what's in scripture about how God favors nations and people. Mm -hmm. His chosen people, his favorite people were Israel, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And now his people are found in Christ, mm -hmm. the true Israel, right? Right. right. Uh, that is not to say that God is done with Israel, mm -hmm. but the reality is, is that God has a people that he is using to bring redemption into the world by his, by his grace, by mm -hmm. having faith in him mm -hmm. and evangelizing and doing discipleship in the world. Yep. All right. And this one is says church dropout, very disappointed in your video. Here's a man that has been hit with lawsuit after lawsuit in the same way they do in Banana Republic. And here you are piling on. Again, very disappointing. You say you are Christian, so why would you bash another Christian? Maybe he is not as mature in the faith as you are, but why bash? Causing strife amongst the brethren is pretty serious. Please pray about what is you this have long? done. Yes. Okay. Well, first, let, let me just kind of deal with the bashing Christian thing. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, we first have to assume that Trump is a Christian. Right. And I'm not saying that that he's not. Correct. However, I'm not sure I've seen fruit of Trump being a Christian. Mm -hmm. He didn't start talking about his evangelical faith until mm -hmm. he started running for president. Yes. Um, in fact, even when he started running for president and he said that he was a Christian, he said he didn't doesn't repent. Mm -hmm. He's the only Christian I know that says they don't repent. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. So I think that's a problem in and of itself, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But even aside from that, if Trump is a baby Christian mm -hmm. or if he's a Christian that is is still very much so in the formation, then we ought to be very careful yeah. with what we are putting on his shoulders um, because obviously he needs time to understand what it means to have faith, right. what it means to follow Jesus. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so I don't know. And I don't think we're bashing Trump. I don't, no. I don't think that we were, you know, yeah, bashing we're him at all. talking about like the things that I said, but those were <laughs> things that came out of Trump's mouth. So I was just letting the people know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, it says, please pray about what you have done. I've been a Christian for wow. many years. Pray every day. Read the Bible every day. Fast. Blah, blah, blah. What do we do? Bash Trump. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if I could give you a favorite verse. I love them all. Same with the Old and New Testament. I love reading the Psalms and Proverbs as much as I like reading the Gospels, Acts, Revelation, etc. 
As for saying 2 Corinthians versus 2 Corinthians, it depends on where you come from and where or how you were raised, but both are correct. How petty to bash him over that. So that's the word, the bashing, okay. You act like his King James Version Bible put together by Lee Greenwood is something new. Hasn't many pastors in the past put Bible put out Bibles that contained their own documentaries? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, docu. Yeah, documentaries. Yeah. yeah, they 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 meant maybe they meant documents. Oh, okay. Okay, but, okay. but or documentaries. Is that yeah. The same thing. No. Okay. Um, but but in saying that though, that is a good point. Mm-hmm. Right. This mm-hmm. is not the first time somebody's made a, a USA Bible, but we also have Bibles that. Uh, are named after, I guess, to some degree, individuals, right? Mm-hmm, so you mm-hmm. have the John MacArthur Study Bible, mm-hmm. and I don't know how I feel about that either. Right. You know what I mean? But right. all, but they're not putting any of their documents in it. They're mm-hmm. just based on maybe commentary or sermons or different things that they've written in there. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I think that is a great point. Yeah. I think it's something to definitely think about. But I think what Trump is doing is much different, or yeah. what's being done that mm-hmm. Trump is endorsing is right. much different. We're right. talking about someone putting the founding documents into the Bible. And I, and for some that might be innocent, but I think, again, how we feel about those founding documents, how we be, feel about the founding of America right. and then being put in the Bible, I think right. it's a very deliberate, intentional thing yes. to align these documents with scripture. Yes, that That to me is the you know, is the bigger problem, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But that is a good point though. And yeah. and it's something that we should think about, you know what I mean? Should we produce Bibles with, you know, man's thoughts or popular people's thoughts yeah. because they're simply popular, right. right? Right. Or because they've taught the Bible for a long time, but, but yeah. All right. John MacArthur for one, Nelson, Moody, etc. Did you bash these guys as well? No. Don't all Bibles contain maps, concordances, etc.? I don't see you bash those. What's fair is fair. Make a video bashing any and all Bibles with anything extra in them. Trump never said that said the Constitution or the Bill of Rights we was canon of Scripture. Most Americans have never even read the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. And if this gets them to read it, I am all for it. Lastly, you claim that Christians have sold out their faith to a faith of uniting politics and faith together. I am not saying no Christian has done that, but all my Christian friends and contacts have not done that. Yes, we are proud of our country and we give our support to a candidate who promotes our values, but no man or country will ever replace Jesus in our hearts. In the end, there will be no politics, only the kingdom of God. Yeah. Amen to that. I mean, Mm -hmm. you know, in the end, there will be no politics. Thank you. Um, Great. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But something else that uh, the person said at the beginning or uh, sort of when you first started reading again. um, uh, Um, About the John MacArthur for one, Nelson. Oh, oh, oh. (laughs) said um, the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's maps and stuff in the Bible. But yeah, those maps are not of the world. Those maps uh, are of biblical. Yes. Importance. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? But again, I think we've made the point Mm -hmm. right the idea is i get it Mm -hmm. right i i don't think we need to include any other documents Mm -hmm. in scripture Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. um if we want those documents we can go get those documents let's let the bible be the bible right and then let the founding documents be the founding documents there's no need to put them together Mm -hmm. and the fact that people haven't read them Mm -hmm. see again it just kind of stirs the thing not that people shouldn't read them i'm just saying like so because people haven't read them we should go ahead and put them in the front of the bible no they don't need to be there Mm -hmm. why not just say here's a bible you know it's Mm -hmm. a regular king james bible Mm -hmm. and then say we're giving you the the founding founding documents documents with the actual yes right Mm -hmm. but when you package it together you say something different yeah yep i agree oh i don't care for trump but that but the democrats (laughs) Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes, you know, they're Democrats, <laughs> you know, I, 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 you know, I ain't hating. Okay. <laughs> equal. What are we? Equal opportunity. Right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't care for Trump, but the Democrats are wonderful. Enough said. 
So yeah. I think that's from the comment when I was just like, I just don't care for Trump. Yeah. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. And, um, and yeah, so it just seems like people think that because we're on Trump yeah. that all of a sudden we are, dem that means that we're Democrat, mm -hmm. that we are mm -hmm. a part of the opposite party because yeah. we're bashing Trump mm -hmm. according to their words. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is we're not Democrat either. Yeah. Um, you know, we are, rep we are neither Republican mm -hmm. nor are we Democrat, mm -hmm. right? We mm -hmm. are Christians Yes. and mean it that mm -hmm. way. We are Christians. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, yes, you know, we vote, do we vote our conscience? We vote our, our, our beliefs, but we don't hang on party, party lines. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's the way we tend to, uh, we're kingdom kids. Mm -hmm. We belong to Jesus and his kingdom. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, but we are not Democrats. Right. You know what I mean? And just because we criticize one doesn't mean that we are the other. Right. And, and let me say this as well. This is the last thing. I think this is also a sign of where we are today, where everything is so black and white. There's mm -hmm. just no nuance with anything. Right. You know, yeah. everything is polar opposite. If you're not this, you then you're that. This. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can't even have discussion or criticism yeah. or opinion. Uh, without being labeled or associated. And as Christians, we really need to be careful with this. Yeah. Because we have a mission to take the gospel mm -hmm. into the world. And sometimes that's going to carry us into places where where it may cause people to say, hey, what are they doing? Right. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, um, I mean, for goodness sake, Jesus was you know, accused of being a friend of sinners because he was willing to take the gospel to those who needed it the most, mm -hmm. you know? And so we got to be careful with that. You know, yeah. these conversations need to be more nuanced just because you're doing something over here. doesn't mean that you're this here. Right. And I personally just hate labels. Yeah. I hate labels. Mm -hmm. I hate labels. It just, it just bothers me. I think it puts us in a box. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're neither Democrat nor Republican equal opportunity offenders when it comes to politics. Yeah. And I don't like Lee Greenwood or country. Y'all scared of Trump, but buy Diddy's records? Take that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy for life. Uh, hey, no. listen, I ain't bought I ain't bought a Diddy record I'm trying in to a tell long you, time. I don't even I don't even think I've ever bought a Diddy record, actually. Really? Yeah. Man. Mm -mm. Boy, yes you have. I guarantee you have. Mary J. Blige. Oh, one of her, one of its artists. Yes. Okay. You're well, right. yeah. Then yes. You, you know, essentially, yes. you're buying a Diddy record. Yes, that's true. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, but yeah, I don't even know where that came from. Like, <laughs> where's the correlation there? You know what I mean? Like, you're <laughs> right. mad at Trump, but you'll buy a Diddy record. Right. So we won't buy the Diddy. We won't the Diddy Bible. <laughs> no. Hey, boy, that's something else there. Mm-hmm. So, but that's it'll just have like, federal documents. Oh inside. my gosh, Alan Stout. <laughs> 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 but I mean, it's it's the thing that. There's here's an assumption, you know, that if we're not okay with Trump Bibles, that means that we we had to have bought Diddy records. Like, what? how did the two come together? That's what I'm saying. You know, uh, I don't I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. funny. All right, and then we have Donald Trump prints U.S. documents with the Bible, and Christians are like, that's fine. It's just packaging. But if Mitt Romney printed Mormon documents with the Bible, Christians would scream bloody heresy and damn him to hell. See the double standard? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not sure I agree with that specific correlation. I think those are two different things. You know, Mitt Romney would be putting a set of different, <laughs> another religion yeah. inside of the Bible. Right. Um, which would be a little bit different yeah. or a lot a bit different. Yeah. Right. But I definitely get the sentiment of what the person is trying to argue. What if a person within another country mm -hmm. in Afghanistan or Iraq or wherever, and they and they wanted to put their institution or their do documents mm -hmm. inside of the Bible? Mm -hmm. um, I guarantee you, people would have an issue. Oh, with that, for sure, right? Yeah. Because of how we see those countries yes. in a, in in relation in relation to how we see ourselves as right. a country. Right. See, and that's what I'm saying. The reason why these documents are being put in the Bible is mm -hmm. because of how we feel about these documents. Yeah. That that's mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting at. Like yeah. that's where the problem is to me mm -hmm. is that these documents are held sacred to us. Yeah. So we put them in a sacred book. Mm -hmm. You do you understand what I'm saying? And so it's like no, those two things need to be separated yeah. you know what i mean and put in different documents and so like i said i get their point yeah is that we would be upset yeah if, if another country did this with their documents and put them put them inside the bible yes 
All right, here's the thing. This isn't on Trump. Based on his own words, Trump has no spiritual foundation. You can't have a genuine relationship with Christ if you can sit on a stage and claim you have no need for forgiveness. Knowing you are an adulterer who cheated on your pregnant wife with a porn star, cheated your business partners on numerous occasions, and lied so often you believed much of what you say. Mm. I thought his waving the Bible around in 2016 was disgusting, and I wasn't even practicing my own faith at the time. Mm. You didn't need to be a person of faith to see that for what it was. Pondering to a group at a level like the Bible is his favorite book, and I have copies all over my house. He does so from the position of a man who doesn't buy any of it. Mm. When he goes around selling Americana Bibles, okay, so. (laughs) (laughs) The A at the end, I'm sorry. (laughs) Selling American Bibles to make a buck, he does so with no concern for for consequences because he honestly believes there will be none mm. that's who he is it's who he always has been and anyone trying to shoehorn him to into some spiritual savior is simply behaving like a member of a cult mm. okay this is a long one it's a long one <laughs> yes. we're still going we're yes. still going yes yeah well this the, you know we could just digest a little bit of that mm-hmm. like again he, he he mentioned it again you know trump saying he didn't need any forgiveness mm-hmm. or anything mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and Yet we are saying that, you know, um, we're treating him as if he's a Christian. Mm -hmm. And and again, even aside from that, you know, in the White House, we're not voting for a Christian. Right. You know, we're we're voting for a president Mm. Um, because the United States, again, Mm -hmm. is, you know, it's it's there to represent all people and all people groups. Right. So they're not there just to carry out Christian values. That's our job Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and again i think he's pointing to the idea of the pandering Mm -hmm. that he's been doing this since the onset Mm -hmm. right yeah um he's been kind of pandering to the evangelical community much like the republicans have yeah you know what i mean played Mm -hmm. on these ideas that they know are very deeply held by um christians yeah today so i I just want to give you a little bit of break so (laughs) thank you like i say this isn't on trump it's on those christians who have bought into the lie who have given him a pass on this and numerous other heretical even blasphemous public displays such as when he stood on a stage and let a prosperity sparkle pastor (laughs) refer to him using the same language used to describe our lord in the gospel of john Mm. it's on the people who will buy his book regardless of motive i'll say it shame on them Trump figured out how to woo those who claim to be evangelicals, Mm. whatever that term means to them. They see him as some avenging angel who will smite the godless left that has ridiculed them and put their very existence at risk. Yet a lot of these self-proclaimed evangelicals are the same ones who will vote for anyone with an R next to their name, especially if that person is an incumbent, regardless of that person's voting record. They can't Mm. be bothered with checking into that person. It's a form of roll tide. Evangelism, for lack of a better term, all about the home team. Never mind that they are the ones helping put an end to your way of life. Trump will fix it. And never mind that Trump didn't fix it when he had the chance. And never mind that he (laughs) is a habitual liar. And never mind that he is actually selling Americana. He said Americana again. (laughs) (laughs) Bibles to make a buck. Primarily so he can keep his own fortune and stay out of prison. Like I say, it's not on Trump. It's on the never mind crowd. Call me names if you want. But shame on the whole lot of you you are reaping what you have sown yeah well that that is a lot Mm -hmm. a lot a lot there Mm -hmm. and um i'll leave most of it on the table because i think it speaks for itself Mm -hmm. but i will say this something that he was uh or she was alluding to Mm -hmm. in that is that and this is where i think christians have been deceived uh when it comes to politics Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that we've been made to believe that the problem is the right or the problem is the left yeah no the problem is sin yes yeah because because that drives all of it yeah okay Mm -hmm. and we've been we've been tricked into believing that that oh it's the left 
leftists that are going to ruin this country and it's the conservatives that are going to ruin this country and the lefts don't care and the rights don't care and all of this type stuff and it yeah. just goes back and forth back yeah. and forth but that's not the problem though right. and that's why we need to stay biblically minded mm -hmm. and grounded in scripture and say listen we have to be objective enough yeah. to be able to look at this from a spiritual perspective mm -hmm. and be and begin to call it out or speak uh speak um truth to power whatever that may look like we got to be able to to do that yeah. but the problem is not the right the problem is not the left the problem is sin and that's mm -hmm. our that's why we exist as christians is to eradicate that by telling people about the gospel that comes through jesus christ and so again i think that's a great great point mm -hmm. and it really i mean that's all i want right i mean you know i think that's all we're trying to get at right you know what i mean is that mm -hmm. we need to remain neutral yes right yeah there's the kingdom of the world yeah kingdoms of united states mm -hmm. and other places but mm -hmm. we have a kingdom too yes and that kingdom is one of righteousness that comes through jesus we're loyal to that above all other kingdoms yeah those others do not have last one no okay those others do not have pure motives as they preach about christ they preach with selfish ambition, not sincerely intending to make my chains more painful to me, but that doesn't matter. Whether their motives are false or genuine, the message about Christ is being preached either way. So I rejoice and I will continue to rejoice. Philippians 1, 17 mm -hmm. through 18. Be more worried about saying, saving souls than about bashing someone for trying to get the Bible out there, no matter the motive. The very worst of God says it. You spent all this time on this, who do you lead to salvation? <laughs> Foolishness, brother. Foolishness. Rejoice that the message is being spread and worry about the log in your own eye. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, I, so I get he was quoting Philippians and in that passage it talks about people who are preaching a false gospel or preaching a different gospel and Paul's like, listen, whether it's out of selfish ambition or whatever, we should be happy that the gospel is going forth. Mm -hmm. I agree with what Paul is saying. However, I, I, Trump is not preaching the gospel mm -hmm. and and giving people Bibles is not preaching the gospel yes. either. Yeah. Right. Yes. And um, and again, this is where we got to be careful. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it, it appears to be an act of righteousness. But I think as Christians, we can't be deceived by w what we think we're seeing here. Mm -hmm. But he's not preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. so, I, again, throughout the whole thing. He, he mentions this generic name for God. He doesn't say anything specific mm -hmm. uh, about Jesus. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything about, you know, um, returning uh, to Christ mm -hmm. and what it actually means to return to Christ. Yeah. You know, he just said, you know, the Bible's very important mm -hmm. and, 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 and religion is very important. Well, which religion, which Bible, which, right. wh what are you talking about here? Let's be right. specific in right. what's important, mm -hmm. right? Um, so anyway, he's not preaching the gospel. I we of course we agree with what Paul's words are. This is just not that that instance. Yeah, and this is our last comment. All right. uh, it says great content. Thanks for sharing your heart. Beware of those sheep who are really wolves. Go ahead, Lisa. All right, so we're gonna end on a positive note <laughs> and thank you guys mm -hmm. uh, for all of those comments, even the ones that you know we didn't agree with mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. that we may have had some pushback on mm -hmm. um but i think this is how we grow yes. right this is how the scripture this is what the scripture talks about when it talks about iron sharpening iron yeah. right you yeah. know what i mean and mm -hmm. let me say this like i hold my beliefs strongly mm -hmm. and um and at times in conversation those feelings come out mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know what, what are you what are you smiling for i'm just listening uh, i thought she was like talking about something like an argument or something like yeah that brother be holding his belief <laughs> <laughs> but the reason why i say that is is that yeah we're going to get emotional about this stuff yeah. but we got to keep the foundation mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. and the foundation is is that if we are all if we all believe in jesus yeah. and we have true faith in christ mm -hmm. based upon his work the grace that comes through the life he lived in his resurrection, the power that comes from his resurrection, then we can find common ground. Yeah. That is our common ground. We are brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. um, we can agree to disagree, but we're brothers and sisters. Yes. And, um, you know, and so, you know, again, 
thank you all for the comments mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know uh appreciate it yeah i'm sure there'll be more mm -hmm. um especially as things continue to push forward and right. you know the this thing speeds up and ramps up you yes. know we'll we'll definitely have more to talk about oh yeah but uh but anyway any final words no nope. good to go good to go all right thank you guys so much for joining the church dropout podcast thank you for those dropout comments um yeah, please like, rate, and subscribe wherever you're listening to this at. Uh, keep the conversation moving forward in the comments. Like I said, we try to re react to those as much as we possibly can, but we thank you for all that you've done. Yes. What? Am I praying? It's like, <laughs> Do you not know what you're saying? I don't know. We thank you for all that you've done. <laughs> That's funny because I had some other stuff on my mind. I was like, you know, but Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Maybe we need to end this broadcast and go go pray. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining the Church Dropout Podcast. Mm -hmm. We will talk to you soon. God Good bless. Night. Good night.